Hi, and welcome to the Ultimate App Maker. In this training video, I want to show you how to start editing and customizing the app templates inside the Ultimate App Maker. So let's get started. So once you're going to log in, click, click on Sign In, Log In, and uh, you're going to go inside one of your apps. Now let's say we just chose a template, or if you already have chosen a template and you want to edit it further, click on My Apps, and you'll get to all the apps you've already started. So we're going to start editing this template here. This is the golf template. It's a pretty standard template that a lot of our templates uh, actually replicate in a sense of functionality. So they'll have menu buttons here and maybe some icons at the bottom and a logo and a background image. So it's really easy to start editing this template along with many others. So the first thing you're going to do is we want to go to this home page so we can start editing it. We want to click right here on edit pages. Okay, and you can see this template comes standard with all these different pages already pre-installed. These are the four tabs here, tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four. They're going to be these pages down here. Home page is tab one, tab two is member, tab three events, tab four is contact. And then the rest of these pages here, like about us and feedback and goal tracker, they're going to be inside this app. So, you know, we've got score here. This is going to be the golf scorecard. About is going to be about us. Menu, probably going to have all these different other pages in there as well. Facebook and everything. So, uh, you know, you can actually go in here and start creating different pages, going in here and editing these pages. What I want to show you in this is how to edit this home page. So let's start doing that. We're going to click on tab number one and click on edit. Okay, so now we can actually start editing this page. And the first thing I want to do is I want to start changing this logo. I want to put my logo in there. So there's three different options to start editing this page. We've got layout at the top of the phone. And what layout does, and I'm going to scroll up a bit here, layout actually unlocks this layout elements. So it allows you to start entering uh, div selections. So what a div is, is it's actually a section. If we click on div, I'll show you what I mean. So now we entered div, clicked on div. It, you can see this section here is, is now an HTML section that we can start editing and putting icons in. If, you, if I click here, you can see this is also a div section. And this div section has a Facebook icon and a YouTube icon in it, which links to those individual pages. And then above here, these are all different divs as well. So that's what the div section is. Um, this layout section actually allows you to highlight these different sections inside the app template. So if, if we want to delete this, just double click on that div and then we can select delete. So there we go, that's gone. Um, the next option is this, we got design. So what design does, it design unlocks this toolbox to the left hand side, allowing us to bold, italic, we can align, we can add images, add videos, add payment options, add uh, audio, we can do a lot of stuff. So this is going to allow us to actually change, if you want to change this text here, we can now select this text. If we want to bold it, we can bold it. Um, you can see what that looks like, so now it's a bit more bold. If we want to select this with us, we want to increase the font size, we could actually do this here, and then increase this to 4. And now that font size is obviously bigger. So now if we want to go back, just click on this undo, and then twice, and now it's back to normal. So it's really easy to start editing this text and really editing the alignment and everything just through this toolbox. You can select and start doing it just by clicking where the areas that you want to start editing. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, like I said, I want to enter my logo here. So I'm going to edit uh, the layout. If I click on layout, this, again, this is going to be a div. You can see it's, it's selecting this as an entire div. I want to double click it. Okay, and what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to actually enter in my own logo. So if we click on HTML, you can see right now this is logo.png. I want to click on this pen and I want to upload my own image. So I've already got some images ready to go. Um, what a, a logo here. Okay, golf logo one. I'm just going to click and drag this right in here. Okay, click on choose, apply. So now you can see my logo is now overtaken that spot. It's perfect. Next thing I want to do is I want to just adjust this text here for this icons. Okay, so you can see these menu icon items are right here on the right hand side. Score, score, about, about, menu, menu. So everything is going to be controlled right through this panel here. So score, if you can scroll down a bit here, you can see the image for the trophy is champion.png. The title is score, and it links to this page, golfscorecard1.html. So what we can do is we can actually change this image to something else. If we can if we actually just delete that you can see that image is now gone so it's really easy to to see where what sections are what 
paste that back in here. Now, if we wanted to change this, actually, I want to keep the score trophy the same. So I'm not going to do that one. I will edit the About Us one. But what we could do, let's say I want to just add a little bit. I want to do scores um, or even scorecard. Okay, you can see that now with scorecard. So it's really easy. If you want to change this page, click on this drop down and we can choose any page we've already created inside the app. Now, if we don't have the page yet created that we want to link here, don't worry. You can always come back in here and put it in after. Okay, so the next one is this, About Us. So we click on About, and now the whole About changes. So I'm going to actually change this icon here. I'm going to click on these dots. I'm going to go back to my folder, and I've got an icon here. Um, I'm just going to change this text because I don't think it's going to allow me to... Uh, Load in. You can see it got an error. So the error is because it's capitalized letters and it's a bit too long. So we just got to go in here and change the title of the image. And I'm going to just do info and then drag and drop it right in. Okay, so you can see I got now a, a nice about us. Um, I'm going to actually change that text now. So about us and then links to this page about us.html. Okay, the next one I want to do is menu. I want to put a new image in there for menu. I'm going to click on these three dots. And then where's menu? Here's list four. So I'm going to just change this again to menu and then click and drag it right in there. So there you go. We got those icons changed. Um, menu, I'm going to do more options. Okay, and it's going to link to the menu page. I'm going to leave that the same. So let's say we want to add a new menu bar here. What we can do, that's really easy. Just click on this plus sign and you can see now it's it goes to this page here. So everything's going to be standard. If we want to change that, we would just change this icon right here. So I'm going to just fire in a, a random, I'm just going to go menu again, just because I don't have any other icons. But you can see now it's menu, this is the icon. If we want to change this to any page, I'm just going to do any page title we want. So you can see it, it's, we don't want to do too long because it's going to overlap like this, you know, going second line. Um, there is an option of we could actually change the font size. Again, click on design, and then we could actually select this. You know, if we wanted to fit this on the page, we could maybe try size number two. Again, that's still too, too big. But you can mess around with it. I mean, the best option would be to not have as many characters. So let's say we just delete that. Click outside. There we go. Any page title. All right. So really easy to start editing new uh, or adding new menu items here as well. Now let's say you want to start deleting these or changing these icons at the bottom. Um, it, that's really easy to do as well. Again, we're going to click on layout. Okay, and you can see here, if we click on this, we just, again, double click on that image. You can see this icon is facebook2.png. So let's say we want to change it to Twitter. Okay, so I've got a Twitter icon ready to go. I'm going to click on that pen. I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to drop in Twitter and then choose and apply. So there you go. So I've got my Twitter icon there. I got my YouTube icon. Uh, now let's say we want to add a third icon here. And so the third one is a little tricky because it's already pre-populated in HTML. Um, but if you know HTML, you can go in here and edit this very easily. So again, we're going to select layout. We want to click on this div. And what we want to do with this div is double click it. Okay. And we click on HTML at the top. And you can see here's the HTML. So this section here, okay, uh, if we go right to this A. Okay, so this is the first icon, href. Okay, so this is going to be the page that it's going to link to. And this is our icon, twitter.png. And you can see it's got a width of 60 pixels. If you click, you know, you can see the second one here is exactly the same, but it's for the YouTube PNG. So what I would recommend doing if you want to put your own icon in here, a third, is just copy this entire section, okay, and then paste it right at the end right so now you got three images they're all the same width they're all the same everything all you need to do now is change this page you're gonna have to do this manually put that page that you want to put in there on you know if we let's say we want to go to about us page enter about us the HTML whatever that page is and then your icon uh, PNG file so twitter.png you put that here let's say we got uh, something else like Instagram you know, whatever your Instagram file name is, put it here. And then just go apply. So there we go. You got the third icon there. Let's say we want to delete it. Again, we go to uh, the div. Just select that, double-click it, and then delete.
So it's a little bit more complicated once you start editing the HTML of this, but at the same time, it's not very hard either. So the last thing I want to do now is I want to change this background image. So I'm going to click on Save and then Done. And I'm just going to leave this page here really quickly and I'm going to go to our design settings. Okay, so you can see here tab number one, we've got edit, we've got the source code, the HTML of this page, and then style. So let's click on style. And this is going to be where our background image is. You can see right now the background image is bg.png. So what I want to do is I want to change this. I want to click on these three dots. And then I want to upload my background image. And I believe my background image is this, bg2. So my bg2 background is the same size as this background here. If you're not sure what the size to do the background, what I do is typically download it. Okay, so if I download this image, click on download right here, you'll get this on your computer. You can see what exact file size this is, and you can just replicate your image the same way. So I, that's what I did. I downloaded it here. This is it. You can see the dimensions are 440 by 660. So I, I simply made my image 440 by 660 as well. And I'm just going to drop this background image right in here. I'm going to go choose, apply changes, and that's it. You can see it's all loaded, ready to go. Actually, that's not the image I want to do, so let's say I want to do it again. Um, go back to my folder, and I want to actually select this one, BG1. What's nice is it does give you a live update, so you can see exactly how it looks. So there we go. I'm going to go with this one here. I'm going to click on Done. And there's our home page. It's all ready to go. Uh, now, obviously, if we want to add more things to it, you can. I showed you how to do it. But for the most part, this home page is designed. It's ready to go. Now I need to just go in here and edit my pages for more options. Actually, I'm going to delete that any page title there because I don't need it. But the next thing would be to actually start creating these pages here. So if we want to delete this, all you got to do is select it, click on this negative sign right there. Now let's say we want to actually change the order here. Uh, if I want to go about us and I want to move that to the top, all I'm going to do is click on select this and then move this top arrow up. You can see this about us is now at the top. So just depending on how you want to set your, your app up, you've got all the controls right here to actually edit this template. Um, if you guys have any questions about the editing the templates, feel free to contact us in support. We're more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching.